Welcome back to the online class children. We are going to do preposition today. English language class 6. Children, in your previous class, you have studied what is preposition. A preposition is a word which is placed before a noun or a pronoun. So, we are going to study preposition. So, children, open your new grammar with a smiley book. Today, we are going to study preposition page 102 preposition a preposition is always placed before a noun children or a pronoun and therefore it is called preposition let's see we pretend and play a game at home at is a preposition when sit calls out to me to is a preposition I say, here I am, brother, far away and in the sea. In is a preposition. Or I say, I am in the box. In is preposition. Or else, walking out of the door. Off is a preposition. Or on the table. Or I am under the fan. I say, I am right here, sit. Here, right next to the fish, the one that is swimming around in the dish. In is a preposition. I could be jumping upon the fence. Upon is preposition. Or of a tall tree. I could be climbing up a wall. Up is a preposition, children. Or playing with Bruce Lee. With is preposition, children. I'll say, I am right here, Sid. I am hiding behind the door. Behind children is again a preposition. Someone may come in and see us on the floor. On is preposition children. Let's see on page 103. A preposition is a word that shows a relationship between a noun and a pronoun and some other word in the sentence. Children, it, a preposition is making a relation with a noun or any word in the sentence. So, we have done exercise A. And now today we are going to study the different kinds of preposition which are here. Preposition of time, number one. Preposition of place, number two. Preposition of direction, number three. In preposition of time, we study, let's see what else are there. A preposition of time, these prepositions are used to indicate the time of action. The action which is done in a preposition that it is showing. The preposition at, in, at, in, since. For, during and on are, can be used as preposition of time. For example, I wake up at 6 o'clock every day. My school reopened on in 6 July. I have been waiting for him for 2 hours. Again, for is preposition of time. I have lived in Mayur Bihar since 2010. Again, this is also preposition of time. Since you must finish this assignment within 10 days. Again, children, preposition of time is within. Bear hibernate during winter. Again, it is telling you preposition of time during. The bears are hibernating. The period which is going on. That is the action which is taking place. Is telling you during. So children, we have given few exercises. Exercise A and B for preposition of time. Let's see preposition of place. They indicate the place where something is located. The preposition at. See preposition of place children. At, in, between, behind, under, over, near, opposite. Among, next to, by and on. These are preposition of place. Let's see for example, I had 
kept the key in the top drawer. In is telling you the actual preposition of place. There is a beehive on the tree. Again, on is also telling you preposition of place. Ravi's school is near his home. Again, near is preposition of place. Put this among the other presents. Among. Among is also preposition of place. The cat jumped over the fence. Again, children, over. It is preposition of place. Your shoes are under the bed. Under, children, under. It is preposition of place. My hometown lies between Rurki and Haridwar. Between. It again, preposition of place. Hang the painting above the sofa. Above. Children, above is preposition of place. So, children, now we come to the preposition of direction. Now, let's see what it is saying. There is exercise of preposition of place, children. We have done it. Please go through it and understand. Preposition of direction. They indicate the direction of something. The a way. Direction means the way it is showing you the path. The preposition to, over, up, down, up to, across, along, around, under, into, on to, right, left, through, towards and off are preposition of direction. I go to school every day. Children, to is showing you direction. The drivers jump into the pool. Into again, children, preposition of direction. The took, we took a ferry to go across the river. Again, children, across is preposition of direction. The train went through the tunnel. Again, children, through is preposition of direction. We are going over a bridge. Over again, children, preposition of direction. They walked along the beach. Along, children, again, preposition of direction. We drove around the city for two hours. Around, children, preposition of direction. The driver down the hill was amazing. Down. Again, preposition of direction. The cat jumped over, jumped in onto the sofa. The cat onto means, again, preposition of direction. They were coming towards us. Towards, again, children, preposition of direction. Placement of preposition. There are few rules that need to be followed for the placement of position, of preposition. A preposition is usually followed by a noun or a pronoun. For example, the pen is on the desk. Again, on children is the place where it is placed. Dex is noun and preposition is placed before a noun. She works in New York. Again, noun. New York is a place and preposition is placed before New York. I have been waiting for him. Again, pronoun. Him is pronoun. And preposition for is placed before pronoun. Usually the preposition is placed before the object. However, sometimes it is placed after the object to form question. For example, what games are you interested in? Again, children, please see. Object, game is before and the preposition is placed at the end, what are you looking for? Again, the object is you and preposition is at the end. Who was the principal complaining about? Again, the object is principal and about is preposition. When the object of a preposition is used as the subject, the preposition is placed at the end of the sentence. For example, the sky was too bright to look at. Again, there is a subject, there is a preposition at the end and the subject is before. Faith is what we live by. Again, the subject is before and the preposition is at the end. At. Turn your pages to page 106. Sometimes a sentence may start with a preposition phrase. For example, 
In a large box, Radha packed her books. Children, the preposition is coming before the noun or a pronoun and it is placed first in. In a large box, Radha packed her books. After the match, we went out after dinner. So children, we are seeing here that preposition is coming before also. When a preposition phrase comes at the beginning of a sentence, it must be followed by a comma. Children, now this point is, much, is very important. Before a preposition comes and there is, should be a comma in a phrase. In a large box, there will be a comma. This is a phrase. So, there will be a comma before, after the lunch also, after the match also, there will be a comma. Please follow this in a phrase. You have to, before the preposition is coming, you have to place the comma. This is a rule. Frequently confused prepositions. Since and for. Since tells us the moment of time when an action begins. For tell tells us the duration of action. It tells us how long it lasted. For example, I have not seen him since last night. It is a confused preposition. I have not since. Since is telling the time. I have not seen him for four days. Again children, it is telling the duration of action. See, there is a contrast. Since is telling the time and this is telling the duration. For is telling you the action of duration. They have known each other since ch childhood. Again, moment of time. They have known each other for 30 years. Duration of action. Action is for 30 years they have not seen. Between and among. Again children. Between suggests a position. Between two objects or people. Among indicates a position where more than two people or object are involved. Between. Where, between two between is used, between preposition is used between two people and an object and among it is used between two or more than two, among. I sat between Sarah and Anu. Between you have understood? Between is used, preposition between is used with, between two people. But here there are fence between their house and our house. Again two. Now among. Rashid is popular among his classmates. One person, one person and many people we are talking about. When we are using among preposition children, we are talking about more than one or two people. You can choose between a pup and a kitten for a pet. Again children, between, we are choosing between two things. Between can also be used for more than two things in certain sentence. For example, India lies between China, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Nepal and so children. Between can also be used with two or more than other things also. I have, I don't leave the class between period. Again, between two things we are talking about class and period. There is a good understanding between the NATO countries. Again, we are talking about more than two where we are using preposition between. Beside and besides. Beside means next to or near and besides means in addition. For example, the temple is beside my school. We are talking in a singular manner when we are saying one temple is there only. Near my school, there is one temple. Beside we will use. My father sat beside me. One person is sitting beside you and that is your father beside. My mother bought me a card and a bag beside two books. Now, your mother has bought a book. There are many books and in a bag there are lot of other books also. So, beside those things your mother has bought other things also. So we use besides. She is a good writer beside being a good editor. In and into. In suggests for position at rest. On into suggests movement from outside to inside. For example, 
they told the waiter that there was a fly in the soup in means the position comes to a rest in means when the preposition in we use when the thing is coming to a rest but into let's see the chef rush into the kitchen when the person is going in the kitchen into the kitchen and there is there is no movement the movement is not at rest in is at rest into is not at rest so there is a uh, exercises e and f children you can do it and h i j g h i and j are there to understand this exercise i hope you will go through this lesson thank you children for your cooperation and please watch the video and go through it thank you very much children